Good afternoon or morning, whatever time it is in your area to all. Um, this is Serge165 and I'm going to answer everyone's question that they ask me at one point or another. What is Zelda Revived? Well, Zelda Revived kind of started out from a dream. I had a dream one night, you know, in April, March, can't pin the time exactly, never could, of 2000, where, um, Zelda's people, the Hillians, were crossing into Avalar. Now, Avalar is the world from Spyro the Dragon 2, and we had just rented that game um, and played it, and I had remarked the day before that it reminded me of a Zelda game because it was interactive. Um, and so they cross into Avalar, and Zelda's daughter is told to stay there and stay safe because something is coming. Um, now, seven years later, I surmise that I was dreaming what I call the Migration. The Migration is a poem from my childhood that talks about Avalari going to Hyrule through a blue gate or a blue portal, depending on what word you use. Um, and basically that's what happens, and that something that is warned about in my dream is obviously something normal. <laughs> um, and. Zelda Revived, the fan game, started from that dream. I said to Brandon, we should make a Zelda game. And so we started drawing up plans, and I bought a little sketch diary to draw the characters and the dungeon maps and the overworld maps. There were about four different overworlds. I mean, this was going to be a big game. Um, and I worked on that. And I also wrote some of the soundtrack, which... I still actually have MIDI format if anyone wants it. Um, the first game, Destiny of Avalar, was meant as more of a kind of a joke. It made fun of a lot of different games and had a lot of cameos. Now as I continued working on it, however, and I actually finished the first one and it got deleted in a virus attack, um, I realized what I was actually doing um, via Zelda Revived, I was resurrecting my old childhood poetry. So I took more of a sincere tone when I discovered Wand of Gamelon, Faces of Evil, and Zelda's Adventure. Um, Faces of Evil and Wand of Gamelon remind me of a science fiction movie that Brandon and I wrote the script for and tried to film. Um, so I based it kind of off the ideas in that script. Uh, without the science fiction background, moving it to a medieval steampunk background. <laughs> uh, and so that's where that's going, and for Zelda's Adventure, which I retitled Avalar is Rising, after a line from a song of mine, um, things get really interesting because if any anyone who knows me very, very, very well will know that, you know, there are a lot of childhood characters in that game, you know, mainly the Flower Girl and Michaela Ironbolt, who is a girl, by the way, um, Molly the Hammer, and uh, most people from Duluth who knew me will actually know who they are. And they're just kind of friendly cameos and references to what this game is all about. Um, I also did some work on the battle system and the battle engine of the game using RPG Maker, uh, using kind of a stamina system like in Chrono Cross, which was in the original outline. I ended up losing the notebook and losing half my mind with it. <laughs> um, but I think I pretty much know how it works, and I'm currently working on Wand of Gamelon still, thanks to a few more interruptions. And I hope to actually get that finished and out to people so that they can actually play the game, instead of hear me ramble about it. Uh, well, that's about it for me. Feel free to leave comments, video responses, whatever, rate it. Um, peace and blessings.